One of my passions as we came to Hungary initially was expansion. You know, Europe is really not all that big. And we are in Budapest, are right in the center of Eastern Europe. And it's so easy to get from country to country. And so we've been doing, more recently, been doing some exploratory trips into other countries. We went to Albania last year to do some checking there with what it was like to live there, what it would be like for a missionary to move there. The reason I'm interested in Albania is because Albania was the only country that by law was atheist under the communist times. And they tell me by the, by the time in 1990 when the Iron Curtain fell that there was only just a few Christians left in Albania. So since 1990 missionaries have been working there diligently to try to impact Albania and there's so much opportunity there with these people. And then more recently we've been to the the Czech Republic and Slovakia, which are just north of us. We can be into those countries within two hours. The reason why Czech interests me is because it's 92% atheist. And so we're working, looking at it, a postmodern society that really needs the gospel. We have to be creative in sharing the gospel there. Not that it's illegal to share the gospel, but because these people are postmodern in, the, in their thinking. In all of these countries, there's opportunities for teaching English. There's opportunities just for relationship building ministries, uh, whatever it may be. We're, we're going to have to find the, what fits each particular country and each particular culture. But, but what excites me is the fact that there are millions in these countries that have never heard the gospel. As we drove through Macedonia and into Albania, as we we're coming into Albania on this terrible, Country, country road, there was mosque after mosque after mosque. And I thought, what if there were evangelical churches here? What if this country was, was covered with evangelical churches? What if our passion was to plant churches, evangelical churches? That is what continues to challenge me for all of Europe. In fact, anyone that is interested in coming could simply put your hand on a spot and you could find a place to minister. I know that God is, is talking to people and that He is going to bring us the people resources and the financial resources that we need to, to impact Hungary. You know, we came, all of us came from Europe. In a sense, we may think that Europe is already Christianized and we don't need to go back to Europe. But in reality, Europe has lost the gospel message. Most people that we meet on the street know about God but they don't know anything about how to find a personal relationship with Christ. We talked to one man on the street who was over 60 years old, probably close to 70, been going to church all of his life and said he had never heard a gospel message. That is why we need missionaries. We need people to, to come and, and help us and to work with us. And you can personally can become involved. In these countries, of course, we need missionaries who are able to pioneer. And that might scare you to be a pioneer. In reality, it is just somebody who loves challenges, who loves new opportunities, who loves going into a, a whole new city. And I know that doesn't fit everyone, but it does fit some. And there are a lot of people out there who, who want a challenge in their life and want an opportunity to become involved. I want to take a couple of minutes to just talk about that person who is struggling with the call. What does God want to do, me to do with my life? It's really not very hard. It's just simply listening for God's voice and saying, here am I. You know, when we, when we went to, to Hungary, we went not knowing hardly anything about the country. We, could, we learned a few things. And to me, it was the most exciting part of my life and still continues to be. Going into a new area and, into a, and especially developing a new ministry and a, a, a new vision and taking something, just a small idea and expanding that into something that is far greater than what we can ever do. And, and that's what missions work is all about. It's simply us partnering up with God and allowing God to work through us. And I hope that as you are thinking about missions, it's not so much about what specifically God wants me to do, but how can I fit into God's plan? But if we just go and do it, God will begin opening doors and channels.
We can spend a lot of time thinking and praying, which is great, but God needs people right now to be involved, to get out there and impact their world with the gospel message. And it is not a difficult task. It is simply waking up in the morning and saying, okay, God, what do you want me to do today? How can I impact a life today? And, and that happens as we're going about our regular business, as we're going to the supermarket, as, as we're going crossing town. We've had opportunity after opportunity as we've been sitting on the metro and as we've been walking through town. Uh, and, and that's what it's all about, is just living the life of Christ in a different culture. Here we are in Hero Square. Around us here are several heroes of the past. The, the, the original tribesmen who came and settled the, this valley and settled here in Budapest. The seven men representing the seven tribes. And then around in the back of them are the first kings who brought Christianity to Hungary and goes around and, and shows the different people and the greatness that they achieved in their lives. And then the last two figures are, are political figures from the 1800s that uh, endeavored to bring freedom to Hungary in 1848. All of these men have achieved greatness for different reasons in their life. And they are memorialized here on, on this square. Money has been spent to, to memorialize them because of the great deeds that they have done. But what I want us to think about is the fact that all of us can achieve greatness. Through God, we can become great. You may think, well, it's just, it's just me. I can't, I could never become great. I could never do great things. All of us can do great things through Christ, through the power of God within us. It takes simply realizing our inner strengths, our inner gifts, using the abilities and gifts that God has given us to touch the world for Christ. And that's what, that's what drives me every day. That's what wakes, gets me going in the morning is the fact that there are, there are people all around me that pass me every day that, that need God. And I can do my part, not that I can win the entire world, but I can touch a life for Christ. And I can, I can Im impact my world for Christ. Maybe that's only one or two or three or five people. But if we, through Christ, first achieve greatness, and if we help somebody else achieve greatness and begin to impact their world, just think of the multiplication factor that happens over time as one each person wins one, two, three people, and that continues to go on. And throughout time, thousands come to Christ because one person decides that I'm going to achieve greatness in my life, that I am going to do something great for God. I'm going to do my part. I, I'm going to do all that I can. I'm going to, to touch the world for Christ in some way, that I'm going to allow the power of Christ to work through me to do great things. Over the last few months, you have been able to see what God is doing in Eastern Europe and Russia. Today I want you to think one more time, Lord, what would you have me to do on an ongoing basis? Is there some way that you want me to impact the souls of Eastern Europe and Russia? There might be the chance that God would specifically call you to go and give your life in service to Him. But if not, your prayers are so vitally important. We depend upon, we rely upon the prayers of God's children to help us on a day-to-day -day basis here at Hope International Missions. We recognize that we cannot do what it is that we are called to do unless we have the help of the Holy Spirit. And so I challenge you once again to continue to pray for and support Hope International Missions. I also want to take this opportunity one last time to thank you so much for joining with us on this journey as we have gone through Eastern Europe and Russia. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for how much you do support and care about Hope International Missions and what God is doing through our missionaries around the world. Thank you for your giving. And I trust that as you continue to give and pray and support, God will richly bless you so that you'll be surprised at how much He cares about you and is blessing you for what you are doing. Hope International Missions is committed to continue to expand, to reach out, to win more people for Him, to continue making disciples who will make disciples. And someday, we'll all spend eternity together in heaven, worshiping the one who makes all of this worthwhile. Thank you.